The ocean is the largest biome on Earth. It is also the least understood. The ocean is a system of environments covering 72% of the Earth's surface. A full 90% of that remains largely unexplored. Let's take a short look at what we do know. The deepest part of the ocean is over 36,000 feet below the surface. That's almost seven miles. That area of the ocean is in the western Pacific and is called the Marianas Trench. If you could put Mount Everest in the Marianas Trench, it would still be covered with over a mile of water. Have you ever gone to the bottom of a pool and felt your ears pop? That happens because of something called water pressure. Water pressure is basically the weight of the water which is on top of you. If your ears pop when you go down just a few feet, can you imagine the pressure or weight of 36,000 feet of water? If you were at the bottom of the Marianas Trench, it would feel just the same as having 50 jumbo jet airplanes piled on top of you. And yet, there are creatures which live at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. The bottom of the sea is not just flat sand. The ocean bottom is home to the longest chain of mountains in the world. It is home to the biggest mountain in the world, Mauna Kea. The top of Mauna Kea rises 13,000 feet above the sea, but the bottom is almost 20,000 feet below the surface of the ocean, making it bigger from top to bottom than Mount Everest. Mauna Kea is a volcano, one of many. There are more active volcanoes in the ocean than there are on land. The ocean is where life began on our planet, and life existed there for billions of years before plants and animals moved on land. Today, most of the life on the planet lives in the ocean, not on land. Like creatures on land, most food webs in the ocean begin with plants taking sunlight and photosynthesizing. In the ocean, however, sunlight does not go much below 600 feet, so the majority of the ocean bottom and the creatures who live there survive in total darkness. In most of the ocean, photosynthesis happens at the surface and begins with tiny plants called phytoplankton, which drift around in the open sea. Those phytoplankton are then eaten by tiny creatures called zooplankton, and the food web begins to take shape from there. Most creatures at the bottom of the sea must depend on what falls towards them from the surface. The ocean is a remarkable system of complex environments which support a huge array of life, including Earth's largest creatures, some of its strangest, and some of its most beautiful. It is also where human beings get a lot of the food we eat. On average, each American consumes about 15 pounds of fish per year. How will climate change affect the ocean? As the world warms, we tend to feel changes in the air more than changes in the sea. But that's only because we are land animals. When the planet takes on more heat, most of that heat actually ends up in the ocean. As sea temperatures rise, it affects the entire Earth. Warmer water expands and takes up more space. This causes the sea to rise and coastlines to change. Since half the human beings on the planet live within 50 miles of the ocean, sea level rise is a serious concern for all of us. Warmer water also evaporates more quickly. This causes more rain to fall and stronger storms to form. Warmer water also changes life for all that lives in the sea. Many creatures that live in the sea 
have been moving in search of cooler waters, changing the delicately balanced food webs which we all depend upon. Some creatures which cannot move, including reef-building corals like these, are harmed by rising temperatures in the water around them. As the amount of carbon dioxide in the air rises, it also ends up in the ocean. There, the extra carbon dioxide causes a chemical change to seawater, which is called ocean acidification. Over time, this chemical change makes it difficult for some creatures, especially those which have shells, to survive. Climate change and ocean acidification are just a part of how human beings affect the seas. Plastic garbage and other types of pollution from cities and farms also cause great harm. Overfishing to feed our growing population has its effects. Even the noise pollution from some ships can cause certain sea creatures harm. And remember, other creatures on the planet experience these problems together, even though we tend to think of them one at a time. Human beings are land animals, but we cause more changes to the ocean than any other creature on Earth. Think about it.